The first corrective for the inline lunge is a kneeling hip flexor stretch. So find a nice mat and you're going to put one knee, one knee down and you're going to put your hands on your hips and then arch backward slightly, hinging at the hip. So you should feel a stretch on your down leg hip right in the front in your hip flexor region. Uh, you can hold this for 20 seconds, come out of it and then go back into, try to go a little farther each time, and you can get two or three times 20 seconds on each leg. Okay. Another good corrective exercise for the inline lunge is a split squat. So with a nice staggered stance, um, feet kind of spread shoulder width, you're just gonna squat down, and you can just go halfway down, uh, is fine, you know, there's a progression on this, uh, how deep you go, the deeper you go, the more challenging it is. Um, as you get stronger with this, you can add weight, so you can either hold dumbbells in your hand, a kettlebell, anything, a weight vest. Uh, so you're just kind of dropping straight down, going back and forth as, as shown here. To progress this, you can get a narrower stance, so get your feet almost like you're standing on a, uh, a tightrope and continue. So this will challenge your balance system a little bit and prepare you for the, uh, the inline lunge test screen. And then another variation is you can get a dowel because when we do the screen, you actually have to use the dowel and maintain the points of contact with your low back, uh, head, and bottom. And then uh, you can go ahead and, and, and do this. And it, again, when you do this, you got to maintain that dowel being perfectly upright with no forward lean on the upper torso. Okay, another inline lunge corrective is a single leg balance and reach. So you just need an object to reach forward on. You're gonna stand on one leg, uh, bend at the knee and the waist, and you're just reaching forward and down. So it's kind of like a one-legged squat. Okay, so you're going through, and again, this is a progression to, obviously the farther you go down, the further you reach forward is, is more difficult. But this challenges your balance system as well. Uh, another thing I wanna mention on this is knee alignment. What you do not want to do is have that knee kind of cave inward as shown here. You want the knee to come straight forward. So you have to maintain a straight forward knee uh, as you're doing this. So um, it's very important if you're unable to do that, uh, increased glute strength can help and there's ways to do that too.